I'm getting eight. I'm getting eight. There he is. There he is. Fish on. First fish of the trip here. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are down in South Florida right now, and I uh, got the call last night that the mullet run has finally happened. It seems a little bit earlier. It's a little bit earlier than last year. Last year was like end of September, but this year it is more towards the beginning of September. So here we are. We uh, packed up, <clears throat> brought the whole family with me this time, got Kelton. Got the wife and kids inside. But uh, we gotta pull up the house. Kelton's been practicing his backflip. I'll run a little clip here. I got to do a backflip. It's raining right now, so this is whoa, the last one I'm gonna do. So. Nice. He's been wanting to learn how to backflip, which is kind of crazy because that was never my kind of thing. We also got the smoker going. They got a smoker here at the house. Got a little barbecue going for the Tennessee game. We're gonna go out in the morning, do a little bit of fishing, see if we can't get on this mullet. Ryan and Victor both said that it has been pretty good every day. Kelton just started his own YouTube channel then. If you wanna check out Kelton's channel, it's Catching with Kelton, with a K, K-A-T-C-H-I-N-G, Catching with Kelton. Describe to my channel so then we can get a, that bigger tank at home. <laughs> Yeah, we did a video on his channel where we got like a little backyard pond. He caught some fish and put it in it. But he wants a bigger one. But I told him to get a bigger one. He had to get monetized. So if you want to check him out, I'm going to have a link down below. Go go check out his channel. It's going to be all kinds of craziness. All the crazy stuff he does. But uh, we're just heading out tonight, cooking some food, about to watch some Tennessee football, see how that goes. And then we're going to hit the mullet run in the morning. See if we can't find this mullet, find some snook, find some tarpon. Y'all know I've been trying to find a big tarpon for a while now, so that is my ultimate goal. Obviously, big snook off the beach with the mullet is awesome. Dad, tarpon is on my mind. Dad, so we're gonna see if we can make it happen. I hope I catch a um, tarpon. Kelton wants to catch tarpon too. We'll see. We're gonna take him out there with us. I don't know if he'll yeah. be with us in the morning, but he's gonna be out there. We're here for four days, uh, so he's gonna be out there with us some. But yeah. if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Y'all comment below if you like this form. <laughs> Let us know. But uh, we're, we're gonna get everything ready. Me and Ninja Tackle are working on a pretty awesome rod and I'm gonna be using it in today's video. And so I'm gonna explain kind of the setup and how, how, how we came about all this at the end of the video. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay to the end of the video. It's pretty daggone cool. I don't know that there's a rod out there like this one. So stick to the end. Check it out. We're gonna test this rod out in this video, uh, but for more details, stay to the end. But uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Let's go fishing. All right, y'all. We just made it out here to the beach. I'll show you all the rig we got here. So I got 80 pound fluorocarbon on a little knocker rig. Got the circle hook, and then we're chasing these schools of mullet. So we rigged up a snatch hook with just a loop here on the end. And so what we do is loop onto our circle hook. Yeah, so now we got our snatch hook on our circle hook. So we try to snatch a mullet when they're coming through. Then we can take this off, hook the mullet on the circle hook, sling it back out there. Because a lot of times trying to, trying to carry two rods out here can become a pain. All right, there's some fish blowing up down here. I'll make our way down this way. Well, you can see all the ripples from the bait right there. Oh. See it? They blew up when I, when I stopped Someone you. came through. Yeah. It looked like those guys just had swim bait, so hopefully if we can get a mullet, have a good shot at it. All right, here's some mullet right here. Trying to snag a mullet here. The mullet are a little smaller, so they might be trying to, they might be difficult to grab. They're like little finger mullet right on the surface. I'm gonna try to reel this in quick across the top, see if I can snatch one. I need a lot of bait, bad. All right, y'all, we saw a big wad of bait up here, seeing some fish blowing up in it. I don't see anybody fishing. Oh, there's one guy. One guy with a rod, seeing some tarpon jumping. Still got to snag us a mullet though. Can't do much without a bait. There's like dogs all over this beach. One was trying to eat my hook earlier. Throwing frisbees in the middle of the bait balls. All right, see if we can, oh, these mullet are bigger. I hit one. 
These mullet are definitely bigger. If we can get a bait, we should be good to go here, y'all. Oh, I got one. Finally. All right, so now I just gotta get this off our circle hook. All right, got a mullet. Hook him up through the lips. These big snook like the feet on bottom. That's why we got the weight on here. Oh, they're blowing up further down. Might need to go this way. All right, first mullet deployed. Feels good to finally have a bait. Yeah, I got it. I got some now. I know it. Oh, oh, I'm getting eight. I'm getting eight. What? There he is. There he is. Fish on. Red on. First fish of the trip here. Big snook on the live mullet down here in Juno Beach. Woo! Big old snook. Hell yeah. This is what we came here for. This is so sick coming down here. And giant wads of mullet. Finally was able to snatch one. Live bait is definitely the go-to down here. Would you be so kind to hold mother camera while you're waiting? If you get hooked up, you can just throw it back, but. All right, that looks like a nice one too, y'all. Snook is in season, so if we get a slot, we can do a little catch and cook. Come on, baby. Nice. Heck yeah. Woo. All right, y'all, check it out. First snook of the trip. We've only been out here a couple hours. Drove to a few different beaches to find them. Finally found the mullet. Got on these giant snook. That's exactly what we came here for. Let's get this big girl release. Get some more bait. Try to do it again. All right. Woo. There's some big waves out here. Come on, big girl. All right, nice. First fish of the day, let's go. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right, y'all, we got the snatch hook back on here. See if we can snag us another mullet. Been seeing tarpon blow up in here. That is what I really want to catch out here, y'all. That'd be so sick to catch a big tarpon. Oh, did I get one? No, nope. I thought I had one on the first. First cast out there. Hey, they're blowing up out there, Sean. What? They're blowing up. No, now I wish I had one free line. I don't know if I just cast it over you or not. <laughs> My snatch hook flew off, so I have yours. If you need one, I'll give it back. No there we go. Come on, baby. Nice. Big old mullet. All right, another mullet on the circle hook, up the lips. They say for these tarpon, it's best to free line them. I'm gonna stick with the weight for now. If I get another snook, I may take the weight off, free line these mullet and see if I can't get me a big tarpon while we're out here. That would be insane. Try to go get in front of the school. All right. Another mullet deployed. We're either trying to get eight, or my mullet's kicking around good. Sean said he got eight and missed them. All right, well, when we first got out here, we struggled to find bait, finally found it, caught some fish pretty quickly. And then now we've been on the struggle bus again. We've uh, walked way down the beach, found some more mullet, but did not see any fish on them. It was pretty shallow down on this side. So we're gonna head back to the north a little bit, see if we can find some more mullet that way. The structure on the beach was a little bit better. The trough was deeper. I'm gonna head back up here. Hopefully find the bait. That's that's really all you gotta do is find the mullet. Find the mullet, there's gonna be fish there, so Let's see what we can do. Sean's uh Sean's riding the struggle bus. He did a uh he did a little challenge or whatever bet with Jack. Did you end up getting that tattoo yet? Not yet. He's supposed to get a Washington Redskins tattoo on his thigh. And I think since he keeps losing his fish and I've caught the snook, he may also have to get a Tennessee tattoo while he's at it. That ain't happening. So, uh, <laughs> but we're going to make our way back up here, see if we can get on him again. I'm getting eight. My GoPro's about to die. All right, I just got eight. My GoPro died. I still got a fish on. Just got battery changed. All right, there we go. <laughs> you got 
Is that a bug? Yeah, my GoPro battery died. No way. I was trying to change batteries. Like literally right when I was getting eight, my battery died. Another big snook here, choking down these mullet. All right, this is so sick out here. Wish we had something like this up in Orange Beach. Big snook is insane. Sean's running way down the beach. Yo, I'm on right now, just north of the pier. Yeah, big spot. Yeah, I don't know if you're coming out, but I'm like about to lay in one currently, so. Okay, All right, that's it. There we go. Victor just called old Land Shark Outdoors. Told him where we're at. These swells are kind of tricky here. Like it does, it looks calm out and then all of a sudden you get one big breaker. All right. Can I get one of y'all to take a picture? Thank you. Yeah. We're gonna put them back real quick. All right, another big snook. Sean's all the way down the way so I don't have my third person camera. I'll let this girl go. Whew. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, guys. What an awesome day out there on the beach for the mullet run. I am back at the house and in the garage. If you can't hear the echo, I'm sorry about all that. Everybody's trying to go to sleep. It is late. But I told you I was going to tell you about the rod. The rod I'm using is still in Sean's car and Sean's asleep, but I got the travel case and we're going to tell you all about it. So Ninja Tackle, Matt Poole and myself have been working on a rod for a little while. He asked me if I had a rod I was interested in building. You know, Matt has the bummy stick and I was like, man, I do a lot of surf fishing. I fish a lot from the piers, fish a lot from boats do a lot of inshore stuff, like how can we put together an inshore rod, an offshore rod, a beach rod? What can we do to try to encompass everything? And Matt is like an absolute genius when it comes to this stuff. And so he put together a five piece travel rod. I wanted some, cause I've, I've started to do a lot of traveling. I wanted something that I could take with me anywhere I go and always have an option for whatever it is that I may be doing. And a lot of y'all that watch this channel live in like middle America, um, come down to our areas, to the beaches on vacation and have to travel and bring the stuff with you. And it's not always easy to bring big surf rods or whatever it may be down on vacation. So this kit is a five piece kit. It is a three piece rod. And so no matter, no matter what you have it set up as, you will have three pieces. And this rod can be set up as an eight foot rod, a nine foot rod, or a 10 foot rod. So uh, you're gonna have a butt piece, a bottom piece, a middle piece, and then your tip. And so you have three different tips that come with this, which is gonna give you that eight, nine, or 10. And so what I really like about this is the fact that like right now today, I was using the nine foot section. So going out there, slinging the baits out off the beach, uh, worked perfect for that. If you're gonna do a lot of set rig fishing, or if you really gotta cast some baits further out, you can use a 10 foot section. If you're gonna be fishing some piers, uh, some jetties, going out on a boat, don't want that longer rod, you can back it down to the eight foot section. So it gives you a ton of versatility going out there and having so many options as far as what you can do with that rod. I know a lot of you traveling down, uh, wherever it may be, having to take multiple rods and stuff like that is really difficult. So we're trying to make it simple for y'all. One setup, three different rods that you can have with you. Of course, this is only gonna give you one actual rod at a time, but um, if you're going down and you only have room to take one thing with you, or for me, when I travel, if I am flying, it is easy to just take one setup and then have all those different options while I'm down there. So super excited about this. This is all still in the uh, prototype phase, I guess. This is the first one 
that has actually been in use. I caught the first fish, the first two fish on the Traveler. Um, so it's probably gonna be like springtime before this comes out. We still got some things we're gonna change on the design. And we're still testing it out just to make sure everything is working out. So nothing is 100% yet, but super excited about this. Um, as, as long as everything goes good, we have a few changes to make. Um, this all should be ready to go in the spring. So make sure you all stay up to date with everything. I'll link down below all of our information uh, so you can stay up to date with it all. But uh, we got a couple more days here in South Florida and then we're actually heading over to the west coast of South Florida with a uh, salt strong gonna do a few days over there with them. So a lot of cool stuff coming up. So if you have not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget about Kelton's channel, Catching with Kelton. He is so excited. I'm gonna be taking him out fishing with us tomorrow. He is dying to catch his first snook. He's been super excited. So I'm uh, gonna take him out on the beach with us tomorrow, hoping to get his first snook. I'm gonna be going after some tarpon. I love snook, but I want a tarpon. So tarpon's on my list, snook on Kelton's. Appreciate it, guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one.